Hi there, it's Grandma and it's story time. Today I have a story about a girl called Itsy Mitzy and it's called Itsy Mitzy Runs Away. Now, Itsy Mitzy does not like bedtime. Hmm, I wonder if some of you don't like bedtime too. So she decides to run away. Have you met Itsy, Bit Itsy Mitzy? She's the little girl who really, really, for real, I'm not even joking, doesn't like bedtime. So she decided to run away. No more bedtime, I'm gone. If you're going to run away from me, Dad sniffed, then at least let me help you pack. For starts, you'll need a friend. No bedtime is one thing, but no friends? That's too much. So Mitzi packed her friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar, and said, Goodbye, I'm running away. Okay, bye, Dad called, and then he added, What will Mr. Roar eat when he gets hungry? Mitzi stopped in her tracks. Good point. Dinosaurs do like to nibble, she said, as she searched the fridge. Mitzi packed a small snack for Mr. Roar and yelled, All packed! I'm running away! Oh, said Dad. Mr. Roar likes bananas. So do the bedtime beasties. Perhaps you'll see one. Do send a photo. Bedtime beasties? Mitzi froze. Hmm, maybe pack something to shoo them off, suggested Dad. So Mitzi packed her ferocious dog, Pop-Tart. He'll bark at the beasts to guard the snack that I just packed for my friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar. Now I'm running away. You packed Pup-Tart? Good thinking, cried Dad. Beasties would be scared of dogs if they could see in the dark. I have just the thing, answered Mitzi, who indeed had just the thing. She packed a lamp to light up her pup to bark at the beast to guard the snack that she had packed for her friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar. Step aside, Daddy, she said. I'm running away. Yes, dear. Have fun. Oh, Dad called after her. Do they have outlets where you're going to plug things like lamps in?
but try as she might, Misty couldn't take the outlet out of the wall. Or the wall out of the house. So she did the only sensible thing she could think of. She packed the whole house to plug in the lamp, to light up her pup, to bark at the beast, to guard the snack that Mitzi had packed for her friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar. That should do it. I'm er, running oof away. Have a nice trip, dear, cried Dad, and don't forget to mow the lawn. Little girls don't mow lawns. Grown-ups do. So she packed her dad to mow the lawn around the house that held the lamp that lit up her pup who barked at the beast to guard the snack that Misty had packed for her friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar. And then, Itsy Mitsy ran away. Soon Itsy Mitsy found the perfect place where there was no bedtime ever, not even one. She unpacked her dad to mow the lawn around the house that held the lamp that lit up her pup who barked at the beast to guard the snack that Mitzi had packed for her friendliest dinosaur, Mr. Roar. And then she let out a little snore. Good thing Dad was there to tuck her in. Let's run away again tomorrow. The end. <laughs> so Itsy Mitzi didn't like bedtime, but it was a really big adventure trying to run away from bedtime. And she ended up being tired anyway. All right, hope you enjoyed the story. Grandma loves you.